Hello, I'm Peter Duplessis, clinical psychologist. Being locked down, we face the realities of the COVID-19 crisis, the danger of the virus itself, as well as the economic impact on our lives. This, as other adversities, might cause despair. How can we avoid despair and rather grow into wisdom that heals and bring wholeness into our lives? Let's look at this perspective that might change your life. Normally, when everything goes well, we tend to be optimistic and even idealistic. Everybody hopes to be successful, happy and healthy and eventually retires in idealistic circumstances. Unfortunately, it only took one night to bring Darby's castle down in a Chris Christopherson song. The same with our lives. We meet disillusionment along the way. We often face disappointments, adversities and failures, bringing down our hopes and idols. That brings us to a crucial choice in our lives. How am I going to react to this disillusionment? The one choice would be to become cynical about life, to feel bitter and fall into despair. Remember what Nelson Mandela has said, as I walked out the door toward the gate that would lead to my freedom, I knew if I didn't leave my bitterness and hatred behind, I'd still be in prison. We don't want to be in a prison of bitterness and despair. Rather choose to be wise. Strive towards wholeness. Let me explain this. Wisdom and wholeness mean to unite opposites in your life. Look at the picture on the screen, the picture of the mandala, the yin and the yang, the light and the dark, two opposites. It symbolizes wholeness, to unite opposites. Practically it means, life is seldom just good or bad. You're seldom just happy or sad, have success or only failure, always good health or just illness. Normally, it's both. My life has goodness as well as bad elements in it. I will be happy at times, but I will also be sad. I'll have my success, but also my failures. I am having maybe good life at this stage, good health, but I might get ill. Be content with that. Be content uniting the opposites in your life. That's wisdom. That's wholeness. Listen to what St. Paul has said. I'm not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. He does that through the Lord who gives him the strength to do it. Find that wisdom, that wholeness in your life. Uniting the opposites means that you grow into a wise, mature being, learning from every experience, allowing every experience to contribute to your life, bringing wholeness, being a person that finds meaning in his or her life. Listen to this perspective of Leonard Cohen. There's a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. Adding to this John Wooden, 
things than out the best, for the people who make the best of the way things turn out. Thank you for watching my video. If it brought some perspective, please click on the like button below. You're also welcome to subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscribe. That will allow you to watch all my other videos and those still to come. Thank you. Stay safe.